Hi everybody and welcome. Today we are looking at a topic called formula in words. What do I mean by that? Well, a formula is quite simply a rule, a set of instructions that allows us to find an answer. Sometimes, however, it's not quite so obvious that a formula is being used because it is a question with words and instructions and our job is to find the formula so that we can follow the correct set of instructions to find the answer we need. I'm going to do this by looking at some exam type questions. Uh, so let's make a start. So let's start then with a question that on the face of it doesn't seem to have much to do with formula. It simply says that Sam earns £8.75 pounds per hour and it then asks us how much will she earn in seven hours. Well, there is indeed a formula there because we have to follow a rule, which is what a formula is, a type of rule. We have to follow a rule to work out what Sam is earning. We are looking to find out what her total earnings are. So what do we have to do to find that out? Well, we look first of all at the rate of pay. That tells us how much she's earning per hour. And then we multiply it by the number of hours that she's worked. So there's your formula. Earnings equals rate of pay times the hours. So the formula is hidden in the words. So what's her rate of pay in this case? Well, it's £8.75, £8.75 an hour, and she's working seven hours. So her total pay will be £61.25. So working out the formula, the rule, has allowed us to answer the question. Now, there are some formulas which have more than one step. So let's have a look at one of those. The first thing the question does, it gives us a box which has some instructions in and it tells us about turkey cooking times. And the instructions are for a turkey, if you have a turkey under four and a half kilograms, allow 45 minutes per kilogram plus 20 minutes. So this, in fact, is a formula. You follow the formula with your turkey and it's properly cooked. So, John wants to cook a turkey. His turkey weighs three kilograms, so that is under four and a half. So, this formula, this rule, does apply to his turkey. So, what we need to do is simply follow the steps within the instructions, within the formula. And the first thing it says is allow 45 minutes per kilogram. So what does John have? He has three kilograms. 45 minutes per kilogram is three lots of 45, three times 45. In other words, that adds up to 135 minutes. Now you've completed the first set of the instructions. You then move on. And on the end here, it says plus another 20 minutes. And that is exactly what you do. Plus 20. So 135 plus 20 comes out at a total cooking time of 155 minutes. Sometimes exactly the same question can be asked in a different format, and that is where you are given a function machine. A function machine looks like this, a series of boxes, and what you are being asked is to put something in the beginning of the machine and get the answer out of the end. And what we do is follow the rules in the boxes in order following the arrows. So we're sticking with the turkey and the cooking times. We'll do the same question again, but this time using the function machine. And what does the first box say? It says weight of turkey. So we know that the turkey we were using was three kilograms. We take that and we go to the next box and the instruction is in there multiplied by 45 if you remember it was 45 minutes per kilogram so three times 45 gives us the 135 minutes we go to the next box because that's what the arrow tells us to do and that tells us to add 20 and that way we end up 
with 155 minutes. So all you are doing with a function machine is putting something in the beginning, in this case the weight of the turkey, you work from box to box, you follow the instructions, and out at the end comes your answer, which again in this case is 155 minutes. And that's it. Formulas hidden in words. Just one little thing I have as I've gone through this called those boxed questions function machines. You might also call them number machines or function diagrams. Don't be confused, they're all exactly the same thing. Hope that helped, thank you.